Mr. Chair, uh, appreciate the opportunity to uh, make a statement prior to voting. I do also want to briefly comment on Mr. Mathis's confirmation process. I'm proud to support Mr. Mathis's uh, nomination to the Sixth Circuit. His record shows clearly that he's well prepared to take on the role and that he will faithfully apply the Constitution as a federal appellate judge. Mr. Chairman, I support the use of our confirmation hearings to ask important questions about the backgrounds, the views, and the qualifications of judicial nominees who are about to take arguably some of the most important offices in the country. Senators should do our part in that uh, advice and consent process. But I have to say that I was particularly troubled by some of the treatment that Mr. Mathis was subjected to during the hearing. During the hearing, Mr. Mathis was asked to answer for his quote unquote rap sheet with a quote unquote laundry list of citations. So let's be clear. Mr. Mathis is not a career criminal or violent felon, as the question implied. He has never been arrested or convicted of a crime. The underlying issue being commented on was traffic violations, traffic violations dating over a decade ago. Whether it was unintentional or intentional, Questions and tones, like what I heard during his hearing, are demeaning, offensive, and just plain wrong. These attacks also undermine public confidence in the judiciary and sometimes can incite harassment against the nominees who appear before us. And Mr. Mathis, unfortunately, isn't the only nominee to receive this kind of treatment. It's not lost on me that nominees of color that have been treated differently in our hearings, whether it's insinuations of a rap sheet or hostility about their qualifications or views or undue scrutiny of their personal religious faith. Now, I'm not saying it's been every nominee, and I'm not saying it's been every member of this committee, but I want to take this moment to ask all of my colleagues to please, let's just be cognizant of this disparity. The Senate Judiciary Committee has made remarkable progress by many measures this past year, uh, including confirming a historically diverse group of nominees. And I thank you, Mr. Chair. I thank Ranking Member Grassley for leading us in that effort. And I'm thankful to my colleagues who have recommended such a diverse group of qualified and more than qualified individuals for federal judgeship. I'm grateful for Senator Graham and others who have already spoken up in support of building a more diverse judiciary that better reflects the nation that it serves all the way to the Supreme Court. And I hope that we keep up that effort today and going forward. Uh, we should be mindful of our word choice uh, out of respect for the nominees who come before us and the world that's watching. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.